Hi everyone welcome to my channel that provides you with history. On the coming episodes we will focus on South Africa history. In this episode, we will embark on a journey through the rich and complex history of South Africa from 1652 to 1948. I have divided this history into smaller segment videos. We will have more South African history after 1948 in later videos. Let's begin. In 1651 Jan van Riebeek was sent to establish a refreshment post at the Cape of Good Hope. On 6 April 1652 van Riebeek landed at the Cape with three ships, Raya, Dromedaris, Goide Hoop, accompanied by 82 men and 8 women. This group of Dutch settlers, led by Jan van Riebeek, arrives at the Cape of Good Hope. They establish a supply station for ships traveling between Europe and the East Indies present-day Indonesia and other regions, marking the beginning of European colonization in the region. With the arrival of the Dutch, the indigenous populations of South Africa experienced significant changes to their way of life. The question is who sent them? They were sent to South Africa by the Dutch East India Company, Verenigde Oost Industrie Compagnie or VOC, in 1652. The VOC was a trading company established by the Dutch Republic in the 17th century to conduct trade in the East Indies, present-day Indonesia, and other regions. Did a company shape the history of South Africa as we know it up to this day? The first European settlement in Southern Africa was established by the Dutch East India Company in Table Bay, Cape Town, in 1652. Created to supply passing ships with fresh produce, the colony grew rapidly as Dutch farmers settled to grow crops. Shortly after the establishment of the colony, slaves were imported from East Africa, Madagascar and the East Indies. From the 1770s, colonists came into contact and inevitable conflict with Bantu-speaking chiefdoms some 800 kilometers east of Cape Town. A century of intermittent warfare ensued during which the colonists gained ascendancy over the Kosa-speaking chieftains. Then Great Britain went to war with France in 1793, both countries tried to capture the Cape so as to control the important sea route to the east. The British occupied the Cape in 1795, ending the Dutch East India Company's role in the region. The British occupied the Cape as a strategic base against the French, controlling the sea route to the east. The Dutch capitulated after a brief, token defense, and the British stayed until 1803, when they ceded the colony to the Dutch Batavian government under the Treaty of Amiens. In 1806 a short battle was fought at Musenberg, and skirmishing between British and Dutch forces continued until September when a larger military force landed. With Cape Town under threat, Dutch governor, Abraham Josias Sluiskin, surrendered the colony. Then Britain reoccupied the Cape. As the colony prospered, the political rights of the various races were guaranteed, with slavery being abolished in 1838. The first British settlers, known as the 1820 Settlers, arrived in Algoa Bay, now Nelson Mandela Bay, on board 21 ships, the first being Chapman. They numbered about 4,500 and included artisans, tradesmen, religious leaders, merchants, teachers, bookbinders, blacksmiths, discharged sailors and soldiers, professional men and farmers. Then came the conflict. The British Empire gained control over the Cape Colony, leading to tensions between the British and Dutch settlers, known as the Boers. The British influence expanded in the region, leading to the Great Trek, a movement of Boer settlers who migrated inland to escape British rule. This migration had lasting effects on the demographics and politics of South Africa. Throughout the 1800s, the boundaries of European influence spread eastwards. From the port of Durban, natal settlers pushed northwards, further and further into the land of the Zulu. From the mid-1800s, the Vortrekkers coalesced in two landlocked white-ruled republics, the South African Republic, Transvaal, and the Orange Free State. In the 1820s, the celebrated Zulu leader, Shaka, established sway over a vast area of Southeast Africa. As splinter Zulu groups conquered and absorbed communities in their path, the region experienced a fundamental disruption. Substantial states, such as Moshushus Lesotho and other Sotho Swana chiefdoms were established. During the late 19th century, conflicts between European powers and local African kingdoms shaped the region. The Anglo-Zulu War, among others, profoundly impacted the balance of power in South Africa. This temporary disruption of life on the high veld served to facilitate the expansion northwards of the original Dutch settlers' descendants, the Boer Vortrekkers, from the 1830s. 
Sources, South African History Online, Jan van Riebeek and the Cape of Good Hope, South African History Online, www.sahistory.org.za. Remember, understanding the past helps us shape a better future. If you liked the content consider subscribing, like and comment for more South African History videos. And ah! Uh,